Well, ladies and gentlemen, today we've seen the extraordinary circumstance of a nine-month police investigation following a referral to an independent lawyer, following a three-month investigation by that lawyer, and uh, that investigation into a, a key person in, in Queensland's political process, Mr Williams, who uh, effectively holds uh, the balance of power uh, as, as a member in a tight parliament in this government. Uh, and after nine months of police investigation, three months of independent legal investigation, we're simply told, nothing to see here, we don't intend to take any further action. I don't think that's good enough from a government which has committed to transparency. Anastasia Palaszczuk, before the last election, signed in her own hand the commitment to the Fitzgerald principles. And the fourth of those was that in relation to any controversial decision of the government, an adequate explanation would, would be given to the people of Queensland. Well, that hasn't happened. And if this government is truly uh, transparent about what it does, truly committed to that open government about which it speaks, it would explain to the people of Queensland why this investigation took so long, why it was necessary after nine months to independently refer it to a lawyer, and why after 12 months simply nothing's going to happen. Uh, wait, are you saying and The that other thing that I should say that needs to be explained is why in all of this process, this lengthy 12-month investigation, uh, we hear today from Mr Williams that he was never questioned by the police. I find that alarming. I can't believe that in a 12-month investigation with serious allegations against a Member of Parliament, that Member of Parliament wasn't even asked to respond to those allegations. If there's something strange about this, the people of Queensland deserve to know much more than they've been told, and that the Premier, the Attorney General, the Commissioner of Police, somebody should be explaining to the people of Queensland why it is that this has come to an end after such a lengthy protracted investigation. Are you saying that, yeah, that the government has instigated the police to do a cover-up? What I'm saying is that this government is committed to transparency. Yeah, but it you're deserves, saying that, it deserves, that the police it have covered to it up. It deserves to tell the Queensland of people, the people better than simply nothing more is going to happen. But that's the police side of things. It's not up to the government to release details of a police investigation. That never happens. It's up to the government to release a better explanation to the people of Queensland as, why, as to why this has come to a grinding halt. It is simply not good enough. So the now, now that we know, as Mr. As Mr. Williams has told, Mr. Williams has told us, Mr. Williams has told us, Mr. Williams has told us that he hasn't been interviewed by the police. Uh, how can that be a proper investigation of this serious set of allegations? The government simply owes the people of Queensland a better explanation. So they can't the leave it. To they can't leave it where it is. You're accusing police of the notion of separation of powers. The, the, the government owe the people of Queensland a better explanation. Why? Because uh, they commit to transparency. They have committed to saying that any controversial decision made by this government will it's be not a It's not a decision made by the government. It's, it's a police decision. It is a decision made by this government to take no further action in this matter. No, it's based not. On what no, it was the based police. On the, based on the advice that they've been given. No. But they need to explain... What could they take if the police, says, the police say that there is no prospect of a... Prosecution. What more action can the government take? It, it's up to the government to explain why they will take no action and what they well, know what about this incident. There has been a nine-month police investigation. There's been a referral to an independent lawyer. And it's not good enough simply to leave that on the basis of saying uh, we're not going to take any further action. Okay, but you could say the same thing about what happened with Dr Levy. Look, there have been plenty of cases before in which the Labor Party have been very happy to table uh, the uh, legal advice that they've received. Uh, but they the, haven't the received to, advice. It's the, not the, the party. Failure, in the failure to retry Sir Joe Bielka Peterson, they tabled that advice when they decided to prosecute um, Senior Sergeant Hurley and they received independent advice from Sir Lawrence Street. They tabled that. Uh, they have found themselves quite willing and quite able to give people a better explanation of their decisions than they have in this I case. Just want to get this straight. Said, no, no, Mr Walker, you have said that you find it very strange that this man was never interviewed by police. And Correct. You, you say that something has gone on here. <coughs> Are you saying this is a police cover up? The police didn't do their jobs properly? Uh, I'm saying that the government owes the people of Queensland an explanation as to exactly why it has happened. There's been a nine-month police investigation. It hasn't just been dismissed overnight. There's been a nine-month police investigation. There was then, for some reason, a referral to an independent lawyer, and when that's not been explained to us as to why that was necessary. And then that lawyer's given an opinion, and we don't know what that is. And we know then at the bottom of all of that that, that Mr Williams hasn't even been interviewed. I find that extraordinary when there was a, a lurid series of allegations against him in the press over a period of time 
uh, that no one, not the Attorney General, not the Premier, not the Commissioner of Police, said, don't think someone should ask Mr Williams about this. But so why... questioning police judgment. I'm questioning why the government isn't no, giving people... No, no, no. You no, no I'm you, questioning... You understand that this was the police's decision? I'm questioning... I'm questioning why the government isn't giving us a better explanation of what has gone on. But it's That's not the I'm government's wishing. investigation. That's where we're all confused. The government did not instigate this investigation. It was a police investigation that went to DPP, who then referred it to the independent barrister. And that is all independent of government. So you're either alleging that the government should have interfered and, you know, got more answers, or that the government did interfere and stop it. I'm suggesting that the government owes Queenslanders a better explanation of what has happened. They Why? It's they, a police investigation. Well, they, they need to explain the nature of but that. But it's that a they, police investigation. They cannot, they like cannot police? simply leave up in the air the fact that after nine months of police investigation and three months of an independent legal investigation, there's nothing to see it's here. It's not their investigation, though. So why is the government responsible for a police investigation? Because the, the, the police are, are part of the executive arm of government. The executive arm of government deserves to explain to the people of Queensland what's going on here. But no, that's, that's not how the separation of powers works. The government, if they interfered with a police I, investigation... I'm not, I'm not suggesting they interfere with a police but that's investigation. What you're, that's I'm why suggesting... we're all confused now, because you're saying that the government owes us an explanation, but it wasn't a government-commissioned inquiry. The, the it gov was a police investigation. I understand that it was a police investigation. The government owes us an explanation as to what has gone on and why but after why? nine months of police... Because they committed to transparency in these matters, that they but committed to, to transparency as to these sorts of this decisions. This isn't a controversial decision, though, that they were involved in. But this is a controversial decision. They deserve and they are, they're required to it explain might be to the people of Queensland why it is that this investigation took so it, long. But they can't, because it's not up... It would not their investigation. You could say the same about the Levy investigation. You could say the same about the Fleck investigation. You could say the same about the Yandina 5 investigation. You could say the same about drug investigations that go on for two years. You know, do we table all of those? This is what happened? This is a significant political issue, and the government's got a, a duty to explain to people the process put in place and why it has led to no outcome after 12 months, with no questions being asked of Mr Williams, with a but police report... But that's all report. police. Why aren't you with, talking to Ian Stewart about this? Uh, uh, this is what the government needs needs to say. They need to explain the process as to what happened, why but after nine months a police report went nowhere other than to an independent lawyer. No, no, it went to the DPP. That's a normal process. We, we were told it went to an independent lawyer. So there is a nine-month police investigation, there's a three-month legal process, and the only outcome to that we know is that nothing further will happen. Why do you think that police shouldn't answer these questions? Why are you calling on police? This is a, this is a political matter, and I'm calling upon the Premier and the Attorney but General to explain the But aren't you innocent until proven process. guilty? It's a police matter, so... Why, why, why are you concerned that Ian Stewart isn't standing up and, and explaining why... Look, well, well that's, up, that's up to the government to determine how they explain it to people. But why? My, my, my question is uh, to the Premier and to the Attorney-General to explain what process has happened and why we've come to this conclusion. Was this press conference your idea? Are you worried this press conference in line of talk that perhaps harm your credibility as a future Attorney-General? No, I, I, I put quite simply, there's been a 12-month investigation here which has led to no outcome. The people of Queensland deserve a better explanation than that. A nine-month police investigation referred then for three months to another lawyer with no explanation as to why and with no questioning of Mr Wynn. Do you think the government interfered with the investigation? I don't know whether the government interfered with the but investigation. But do you think, is that what you're alleging? I'm not alleging that. I'm saying the government deserves to explain the process and why we've got... To so sh a politicians then, every politician is held to a higher standard than what the public is? This in terms a, of how police investigate things. This is a higher profile case than most. So there's no confidentiality in high profile cases? I'm, I'm, not, 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 I'm not saying anything about confidentiality. I'm saying the government owes the people of Queensland Well, a police investigation is confidential. Well, the, the, government owes, the, the government owes the people of Queensland an explanation about this outcome. But it's not their investigation. That's that's where we're really confused. Like, we don't mean any disrespect. It's just no. very confusing why the government is 
have, has to owe us an explanation for a police investigation. Because Mr Williams is part of their team in Parliament. He's a key to their retaining their majority. This is a significant political issue and they need to explain how this political outcome has occurred. When LNP members were investigated during the Newman years, the Premier stood up and said, it's a police investigation, we will obey by the dictates of the police investigation and nothing was said until the end of the police investigation. If there was no charges, the matter was closed, as it happens for everyone. If there were, then there was further action. Mm -hmm. So which, why does a government then have to explain why police and the DPP have decided not to charge somebody? Because this is a high-profile case and, and it's one in which the government, which is signed so they on need to, to transparency... Yep, so they need to then go to the DPP and say, give us your case files yeah, so we can they release can, it? They can get whatever information they, they need to get, but they need to explain to the people of Queensland what the process has been and why, after 12 months, it has ended up in this position. So that's the same when the Triple C investigates, you know, things like Campbell Newman's property interests and his family interests. All of that should have been tabled publicly as well, the intricacies of the investigation? My comments are in relation to this investigation. But that's also another high-profile investigation. Well, in relation to this high-profile investigation, there's been nine months police investigation, there's been three months of an independent lawyer, there's been no questioning of Mr Williams. I think that demands an explanation. From the government? Correct. Will you also be writing to Ian Stewart asking him why they didn't take that extra step of We, we haven't made a decision on what we might do with relation to uh, Commissioner Stewart. At the moment, we're simply asking the government to explain what's going on. Can, can you understand the confusion? We're asking the government to explain the results of the police investigation. Do you understand that it's a police investigation that's separate to the government? Correct. I, I, I'm asking the government to explain the process. And the, the process was a, a nine-month police investigation, a three-month referral to an independent lawyer, uh, during which time, uh, none, in, in, at no point, was Mr Williams himself asked anything. So he said this morning... So what don't you understand about the process? That, I, I want to understand how that process it, it is a proper one to lead to a conclusion that no further action should be taken, particularly with Mr Williams not being questioned. So you're... The police process, you can understand how people might get the that you are uh, uh, casting uh, doubt on the police investigation and the government's involvement in that police investigation. I'm simply asking for the government to explain how it is that after nine months of a police investigation, three months referral to an independent lawyer, and, and no questioning of Mr Williams, we come up with nothing to see here. Because I, I don't think maybe that's there's enough. no evidence that's what the police investigation would have found. Well, people, people in this uh, instance have signed statutory declarations. There needs to be an explanation of how we've got to this So point. he's guilty? Well, there needs to be an explanation as to how we've got to this point. So because it's a high-profile case and you think he's guilty because of the statutory declarations and the police investigation and the investigation of the evidence has found we can't take this to trial, we should explain that, but only because it's a high-profile case. It's a high-profile case. There's been a lengthy investigation. There's been no questioning of the person at the centre of it. That deserves an explanation to the people of Queensland. From the police or the government? From the government. Because the government should have dictated to the police how to do their investigation? I'm not saying that at all. I'm but you are. That, because I'm you saying the saying government that... needs to explain the situation to the people of Queensland. So, so you'd be happy for the police to turn over what? Witness statements, all sorts of evidence that they've gathered in a confidential investigation to the government? The, the, that would the, be extraordinary. The government can, can find whatever way it wants to tell the people of Queensland. So I'm simply saying so, so you, that so the so people want, of Queensland... you want a large amount of witness statements, but then you want the government to decide which... Which are released and which aren't. I, I, want, the, I want the government to explain how we've got to a situation where after nine months of police investigation, a referral for some reason to an independent lawyer and, and no questioning of Mr Williams, we simply come up with no result. Can you explain the separation of powers? I can explain the separation of powers. Uh, the, 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 in, the separation of powers, there's the legislature, there's the executive and the judiciary, and, and they all operate separately from each other. But you just said the police were part of the executive, so therefore... That's right. So, police so the executive should be able to tell them what to do? I'm, I'm not suggesting that the executive tell the police what to do. But you are. I, you I'm are. Asking them to I, I'm, I'm suggesting that the government explain to the people of Queensland how this process has ended up as it has today. Which is... With, with, the, nothing, which with nothing to see here. It's that, the government telling the police what to do. 
that literally is what you're telling them to do. I'm not saying the government tell the police what to do. But how else do you get what you want? The the government needs to explain how the process has got us to the point where we are today. But the government left the process to the police. There's been a nine-month police investigation. And investigations take as long as they take. There's been a separate referral to an independent lawyer. Which is not also not the government's doing. The government needs to explain this process and how we've got to this to the people of Queensland. Did you make the same correction? I don't think in, in the case of Billy Gordon there was the second referral to an independent lawyer. There was. Um, uh, so there was simply a police investigation in that case. And they referred it on. For an independent, For an independent view? view. I, I, I don't know the situation with Mr but Gordon's case. Have the government, in theory, then explained that case as well? The, the, the government needs to, if it is signed up to the transparency that it claims to be signed but up it, to. But this isn't its it, decision. It, it, it needs to be able to explain these processes to the police processes to the people of Queensland. But the we, Constitution here, and the law explains these processes. The, 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 the government needs to explain to the people of Queensland how we've got to, the, to this outcome with this process. Which is the government then telling the police what to do. Do you see the circular argument that we're now in? No, I, I don't see it's the government telling the police what to do. How is it not? Police... If the police make a decision and then the police refer it on and then it gets independent Independently reviewed, yes. the government is separate from that, yes? Correct. And so government... how now does the government have to explain what is done? If they're separate from that process, why does the government now have to explain that investigation? Because the people of Queensland have seen this. They've seen a nine-month police investigation, a three-month legal investigation, 12 months, during which Mr Williams hasn't been questioned. That needs an explanation. How does the government explain that without breaching the separation of powers? That's for the government to determine. But they can explain. They, they can explain uh, at, to the people of Queensland, yeah, taking such a, advice as they need, to how we've got to, to this point. Do you accept that if the government does what you are suggesting it's here today, that it's breaching the separation? No, I don't. Why not? Because the, the government can make such investigations and, and make an explanation that doesn't breach so the separation of powers. You want someone from the government, whether it's the Premier or the AG, to go to the investigating officers? Look, it's up to them as to how no, they... You're the one prosecuting the case. I yes, want you yes to that's right. And, and so I'm I saying... I want you to explain what you mean. Do you want the government, whether it be the AG or the Premier, to go to the investigating police and ask them what I, they did, I'm why, wanting, they didn't, why they didn't proceed with the prosecution? I, I'm right? wanting the government to take such advice as it needs to give a better explanation to the people of Queensland. So I, I, think, I think we might be... We're I think we're going around in circles. Rick Williams said that he believed it was the opposition this whole time pushing this whole case, leaking stuff to the media mm. uh, to pick off members. What do you mm. think about that? I, I'm not aware of any such campaign happening, and I'm sure it didn't. Thanks, guys. OK, thanks, everybody.